Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. Now everyone except me is sitting down to watch something referred to as the Super Bowl. Now I've never followed any mainstream sport. Instead, for the past 20 years, I've been exclusively following uh, professional wrestling. Uh, football's just never interested me. You know, wrestling has all the drama and storytelling, while football's just a bunch of big guys running down a field with a ball. Um, but I didn't want to talk about men wrestling other men today. I wanted to talk about the ultimate form of combat. Man versus beast. Now, I'm not talking about blood sports or anything unsavory like that. Uh, what I'm talking about is a part of the proud history of the American roadside. I'm talking about men engaged in fair hand-to-hand -hand combat with animals. Now, uh, over in the city of Cherokee, North Carolina, there's still several uh, roadside bear pits. Now, I've talked about these on my website before. Basically, um, these attractions are where they put bears in uh, cement enclosures and then tourists stand over top the pits uh, chucking pieces of apple or stale bread where the bears can catch them in their mouth. Uh, now, this is very controversial, and PETA very, very much wants to shut uh, these zoos down. They sent Bob Barker out there a few years back, and he got banned from the Indian Reservation. Um, however, back in the day, there was even a more controversial practice that existed at these zoos. Uh, for a small fee, you could actually engage in combat with a live bear. Now, if you could actually beat the bear by pinning him to the ground, you'd win some sort of large monetary prize. And if the bear won, you know, he would get to drink a Coke. Uh, so let's just stop and take a look at this classic matchup. Now, for obvious uh, reasons, weapons are banned. So uh, man's old fallback of just shooting their opponent is, is out the window. This is a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Uh, the bear's always going to win. The, between his teeth and his claws, bear's going to rip a man to shreds in seconds. Uh, but, of course, they can't be doing this at zoos. Uh, nothing would ruin a little kid's vacation more than watching their dad get eaten by a bear. So to even things up, the bear was declawed, and he wore a muzzle. Uh, so now that things are evened up a bit, let's take a look at the, how this is going to pan out. Uh, the bear's going to win. Bear's always going to win. Uh, bear is simply stronger than a man. No matter what you do, the bear is going to take you, push you to the ground, and sit on you. Uh, I seriously doubt anyone ever beat the bear unless, for some reason, the bear just didn't feel like wrestling that day and just laid down and took a nap. So the lesson here, kids, is that you will never, ever defeat a bear with your bare hands. Of course, how can we talk about roadside animal wrestling without talking about man's other arch nemesis, the American alligator? Now, on the surface, alligator's got a lot going for it. Its teeth and drop, jaw pressure can crack your bones, rip your flesh. You know, if you do manage to somehow get away, um, the bite can cause an infection that can still wind up killing you. Uh, alligator's most devastating move is its notorious death roll, where it bites onto you and spins, twisting and ripping you into pieces. Let's take a look at this matchup for a second. Let's say just some Joe Schmo uh, finds an alligator sunning in his backyard and decides that he's going to kick the alligator's ass. He's going to lose. The alligator will murder him. However, a uh, trained alligator wrestler, such as the ones that you'll find at the roadside alligator farms in Florida, uh, they have a much better chance. While an alligator has some uh, pretty scary weapons in their toolbox, a uh, trained human can take advantage of an alligator's weaknesses, such as their lack of leverage. Uh, an alligator's uh, jaw has you know, a tremendous amount of strength. The muscles are designed to make that jaw slam as hard and fast as possible. But when it comes to opening its mouth, uh, the muscles don't work the other way. The uh, opening of the jaw has no real strength. Uh, the mouths are so weak in this manner that a human can actually just hold their mouth shut with their bare hands. Uh, a human can use electrical tape to completely disable an alligator and to humiliate them by forcing them to have their pictures taken with children. Now, alligator wrestling is a true art form, and the human wrestler will show off his or her prowess by placing the alligator in several holds. Now, this hold, uh, where the alligator's mouth is held open, is known as the Florida Smile. And uh, this crowd-pleasing maneuver here is known as the face-off, for obvious reasons. 
possibly the most interesting maneuver is where an alligator is actually flipped onto his back and pressure is applied to his jaw. This has the effect of a Vulcan death grip and puts the alligator to sleep. Uh, so what have we learned here today, kids? Uh, man will never defeat the bear, and the alligators, despite being nature's scariest monster, can be smacked around like a rag doll if you know what you're doing. But I have one question to, to pose to all of you. Uh, what happens when an alligator battles a bear? Uh, will the bear's undefeated streak continue, or will his inability to exploit the alligator's weakness like man uh, lead to his demise. So uh, leave a comment below and let me know if you're on Team Bear or Team Gator. And while you're at it, uh, take a look at my website at uh, www.thecarpetbagger.org. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.